Light enters the eye through the cornea, subsequently traveling through the aqueous humor, pupil, lens, and vitreous humor before reaching the retina at the back of the eye. The cornea is a transparent layer of fibrous connective tissue that has no blood supply. The cornea is the first intraocular structure that refracts or bends light rays. After passing through the cornea, light passes through the aqueous humor. Aqueous humor is a clear fluid continually produced by capillaries in the ciliary body, the circular muscle that surrounds the edge of the lens. The physiologic functions of aqueous humor are to maintain the shape of the front of the eye and to supply oxygen and nutrients to both the cornea and the lens. After passing through the aqueous humor, light continues through the pupil, the circular opening located in the center of the iris. The iris is the colored portion of the eye which contains two sets of smooth muscle fibers that contract to control the diameter of the pupil. In order to transmit a relatively constant level of light to the photosensitive cells of the retina, the size of the pupil regulates the amount of light entering the eye by either constricting or dilating. In bright light or situations that require near vision, the pupil constricts to reduce the amount of light passing through to the lens. This reaction is known as the pupillary light response, or accommodation papillary reflex. The pupil also helps to bring objects into focus by adjusting the depth of focus.